less than 15 miles west of downtown Denver, in the shadow of the Rocky Mountain foothills, sits one of the most significant fossil sites in the world. Seen from above, it's like a jagged spine rising from softly undulating land. Look closer and you can see how this formation earned the name, Dinosaur Ridge. On one side, quarries, where some of the most iconic beasts of the Jurassic Age were first unearthed in the 1870s. On the other side, a steep rock face covered in more than 300 fossilized dino tracks, which lay concealed beneath countless layers of stone until blasting for a new road accidentally exposed them. And recently, not far from this field of footprints, scientists have made yet another jaw-dropping discovery. Long, violent gouges in the rock, possibly made by dinosaurs. The scratches are difficult to distinguish with the naked eye. So a 3D rendering made with photogrammetry is finally bringing these supposed dino markings into focus. Wow. I am blown away at all of a sudden those scratch marks look like scratch marks. Why exactly was this species clawing at the ground? Could this be the first real-time evidence of a dinosaur fight in progress? Clues found in dinosaur bones suggest they did do battle with one another. But if these scratches were evidence of a fight, wouldn't we also find markings left by the sparring partner? There isn't any other set of scratches in the immediate vicinity. So while this theory is tantalizing, it may not be the most plausible explanation. I think we've ruled out a lot of things. What's left? What behavior do you think this is? Well, I think one of the important things to remember is that these uh, carnivorous dinosaurs are the ancestors of modern birds. Some birds that are ground nesting, they do this behavior like they're beginning to uh, build a nest. But actually what they're doing is showing off to their partners. It's part of a courtship or a mating uh, ritual. And that, I think, is what we're finding. Wow. Wait, what? Foreplay? Mating? I didn't see that coming. But today, we can see this same seductive scraping in Atlantic puffins, Australian brush turkeys, plovers, and a nocturnal ground-dwelling New Zealand parrot called a kakapo. So it seems our dinosaur scratches were probably made in the name of love, not war.